so we haven't had a lot of things going on. Um, we haven't been able to feed the snakes for the past two weeks just because um, the first weekend we were at the show, of course, and then this next weekend our feeder, the feeder breeder we're going to go and get feeders from was at an expo. So kind of just got this all messed up. There's probably not a whole lot to clean. Um, Robbie's going ahead and refilling the humidifier. Um, so yeah, today's probably going to be a pretty short video. I do apologize that we didn't have a video for yesterday, but lost track of time and wasn't able to get everything done as planned. It's, oh well. So, Enjoy. I see a slug. I'm gonna push that back in there. Seems like she shoved all of her bedding or all of the substrate into one side. Can't quite tell what she's doing. She seems very grumpy, very flighty. I'm gonna leave her be. Um, hopefully she'll lay the rest here <clears throat> in the coming days. Um, go ahead and check on you, you need more water. Okay, give her some more water. Look at that cute face. Adorable. There it goes. Yep, the humidifier. She's got water. Not happy. She looks like she's going in the shed. She's got wrinkly. She wrinkly. She's got that puffy neck. Prior too much, she'll hate me for that. Okay, I got almond. Hey, Betty. Yeah, hey, Betty. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, look, peanut shed. Not all in one piece, but. Look at that big old handsome boy. Come on, buddy. What the heck? I think that was a bug I just squashed. It's like a gnat or something. It's a big up in the end. That pretty he's boy. Such a boy. He's a good boy. Okay, he's a good boy. Boop. He does not like boop. <laughs> Wait, he need more water? No. Wait. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Oreo. Oh, it's definitely going in a shed. Look at that blue, blue boy. Look at that wrinkly face. Oh. oh, what are you so scared of? Jesus. Probably, oh. Here, move the water bowl. I was trying to straighten out his paper towel first. I just kind of got it going all over the place in here. There we go. And then spray bottle. Boy's getting water everywhere. Okay, I just got him set back up in there. And last but not least, we got Cat. She looks good. So over here, we got this wreck. Um, this little guy, a little Zenith. 
He looks good. Um, I might as well go and move him up. We also finally shipped out um, Echo. So, she's... Yep. Hi, girly. Hi, cutie. Look at that little face. Still got poop stuck in your scales. Hey, cool. Boop. She did not appreciate the boop. She just has the most boopable face. We're gonna go ahead and move her up here to the top. And then... We'll move this boy up. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, he is way too tiny for this freaking rack, but I think he'll be fine. Yeah, we do need to clean it up and put some paper towels in it and stuff. Um, because I had to rush and move these guys so I could when we sold the other hatchling rack. Because we have a tub missing from that other hatchling rack. I don't know where it went. I don't think Kichi mines though. No. And then up here. Dave. Yep, poor Dave. All by himself. Oh, oh grumpy boy. Just like I thought, Dad. I thought that was the Otherwise, I would have with me still. Well, I'm sorry. Pay better attention. You could have told me. You know I had both of them in that rack. So we're just going to go ahead and swap out this bull. Give this one to Dave. Um, All these guys are good. Yep, uh, rest of our hoggies. Oh. This is the only time she ever comes up to me is when she's hungry. You little turd. She should hopefully be breeding size by next year because she's about a year and a half old. <clears throat> Let's put the poop right here. And then we got Mango. He is going out of his blue phase. He was in shed, or still is in shed. <clears throat> he didn't, didn't want to eat a couple days ago. Yeah, he, like I said, he's in shed, so that's probably why. Um, <clears throat> sweet boy. Yeah, we're like... 100 feet from a train track, so you move the garbage can away from me. Yeah, because I didn't want you to hold it into it just in case. Now I got her. It's crazy how big she's grown. She was just an itty bitty baby when we got her. Yep. Um, we're also looking into buying yet another hog nose um, from the same breeder I got her from. Just waiting for them to get back to me on the inquiry. She just stare. I make up butters. Hi, big girl. She's chunk. Yep. See a little bit of a chunkiness in her. Let's see if she actually lays a clutch for us or not, though. Um, she's going out of blue, I think. I need to spray her down. Sorry, girl. I know you don't like that. You poor. 
poor thing. Charlie. Yep. Yep. She's always in the ball. Yep. It's kind of being a rope right now, though. Uh -huh. uh, I want to go ahead and weigh her. Scale's sitting over there. And she's just gaining weight out of nowhere. So, I'm hoping that's a good thing. I'm gonna go ahead and palpate her. You wanna hold on to that for me? Since we started pairing her now, go in there. That's air. See? More stuff. See how her weight's doing. If I can get her to sit on there. Sit just under 1500 grams. Um, I don't think she's building though. We can try to palpate her. She's not usually very cooperative because she wants to go out of the tub. little bumps that might be follicles but they're probably that big. Okay so we'll just keep pairing her see what happens. Um, let's try butters. Oh gosh. Girl's heavy. I'd weigh her but I need another tub to set her in. We weighed her not too long ago. She was like 2800 grams or something like that. Yeah. Five follicles in her. Actually, you can kind of see the build right here. Yeah. But <clears throat> I'd be happy with five eggs from her. I know she laid seven last year, but just one clutch would be cool. Let's go ahead and weigh the hog noses real quick. Sixty-seven grams. This girl's getting big. She was around twenty grams when I got her. Uh, I'll go ahead and weigh her. She was like five grams when she first hatched out. Yep, and now she's sitting at thirty-four grams. What the size sunfire was when we got her. Yep. I uh, just like weighing him for funsies. He's probably at least over a hundred. No, I don't know. I'll have to see. No. About 88 grams. He's a pretty small male. But. Not likes the hood. Sometimes. Uh, you wanna, let's wait the little hog. Gosh, so itty bitty. Oh, someone's not happy. Look at that little angie head. What, oh, flat? Yeah. Little angie. Little angie. Eight grams though. Not a happy hog. You're in a, ooh. Aww. <laughs> little anger spit fire. Look at that. Tail wrap. Hat. Oh, that's a hat. Okay, go ahead and dig this little guy out. Give me a little butt nugget. Okay, so that was the hat snow. Yeah, that, that's the exanthic cut snow. This is just the snow. So pretty though. Eight grams. They're just baby babies. Yep. Very pretty though. Anyways. <sighs> this tub looks like it got peed in. Can you turn on the light? It's really dark in here. Eh, that kind of helped. Looks like you might have been in shed or going into shed. You look kind of wrinkly and blue and pale. Yeah, it did. 
Um, we're gonna go ahead and get your tub cleaned up and spray you down. Just a little bit of pee. Um, could you rip that off for me? He's just sitting here. Yeah, he's being a good boy. Spray that down real good for him. Then we find him and we'll go and get some spritz. We'll do that last before we do the geckos. What are you doing? No, you stay in the tub. It's old turds, I swear. Hi, buddy. Probably wondering why you haven't got any food in a few weeks. Or a few weeks, a couple weeks. I'll probably offer you guys some frozen thawed mice, but you've been kind of picky about it before. And you have to use it here to um, I'm sure they'd take it just fine. There you go. Let me check on this tub. Don't see any messes, but yeah, it looks fine. Okay. You don't look wrinkly like the other one, so I don't think you're in shed. Pretty boy. Once they get a little more size on them, I'll probably be listing them on Morph Market. But for now, I'll just stay here. That's the little guy. That's the missing boy. Yep. That's the, one of the last mystic ones you have. He's so pretty though. I mean, look how contrast, the, the freaking colors, his contrast. His pattern looks like teeth. You know, like Kinda, teeth. yeah. But I love how like black the blacks are on him. Yeah, he doesn't even look like a normal to me. Oh, well, of course not. He's not a normal. Okay. It's like black and like yellow. Black and gold. Oh yeah. Stuck. Stuck. Unstick. Blue. Yeah, there's me get peed a little bit. Um. Sorry for drinking the water. Okay. Got that. Got the hide. Got the water bowl. And the sink. And he is listed up on Morph Market if anyone's interested in him. <clears throat> um, looks like you need more water. You shoved your water bowl in the back of the tub. Yeah, his water bowl is a little warm. Well, I, he, yeah, he shoved it in the back of the tub and dried it out. I love these goofy snakes. Snakes Ultra my boy. <clears throat> um, I don't know what the heck you did besides making a giant mess like usual. It's excuse any noise in the background. Oh you grumpy girl. There's Coco or head ultra mail. And her wacky pattern. Giving her some more water. She got her paper towel stuck in it. Looks like she peed on top of that too. Okay, we got this. Her water bowl, which some stuck shit in there it looks like. Got a really pretty, pretty belly pattern. She kind of looks like flat at the bottom. Like she yeah. Like she laid eggs. Like she doesn't look anything like she laid eggs. Mm. 
Okay, it looks like she also was shoving her water bowl around, so she needs more water. Um, this pretty, pretty girl. Can't wait till she's big enough to be on a pile of eggs. So yellow. Mm. You almost squashed her. Come on, pay attention. Uh. You tried to set the water jug on top of the snake. <laughs> Poor girl, look at her. She looks so traumatized. I'm just kidding. <sighs> oh, look who shed and looks so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Just like mama. Got those beautiful high white sides and the slightly yellow belly. But she is an actual yellow belly. Such a pretty snake. I think one of these videos I need to do just talking about the spider morph. Now you're gonna go everywhere. I don't see no horrible wobble with her. She's usually pretty good about it. Okay. Oh. I scared her. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, but that's okay. Little piece of shed here. Oop, dropped it in Now let's go ahead and give her a new paper towel. I should give her some more water. Here, I'll take her. Set her in here. Water bowl. Yeah, I'll get her in there. Um, I'm gonna check Marge. She made some kind of mess with her paper towel. Pretty little butter girl. Now, I'm mostly selling off all my single gene stuff, but the main reason I'm raising her up is so I have two butter females to produce, you know, bloodless cystics with. With, um, you know, almond. Because he's a super mystic, and then, you know, the butter. You get those butter mystics. Now, it'd be nice if this girl would start eating again. She hasn't really lost any weight or anything, but she just decided to go on a fast for no reason. <laughs> Hopefully, giving her, you know, a couple weeks off of offering food will kick her back into gear. I hope anyways. Get this wiped up. Okay, she needs more water since she soaked her paper towel with it. But now at least we got this girl. Looks like she's doing good. Um, she ate one of the pre-killed mice that we had the other day. Uh, so she'll probably take frozen thaw just fine now. We had two mice that weren't doing too great, so I had to cull them and. One got fed to her, and you remember who we fed the other one to? That one got fed to uh, 
cream? Did cream take one? No, cream's a rat eater. Oh. I got, we gave one to her. I can't remember who it was that we fed the other mouse to. I don't think the other one was Sherbet. Sherbet hates mice and we'll fucking murder you if you put Oh well. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and actually I wanna see if I can take the little one out. And actually show her off on camera. Cause I don't take her out all that often. Very pretty though. I want to get into these a little more. I just got to put the money aside for them. I'm wanting to get, you know, morphs and stuff. Okay. Go ahead and set the plant back in there. Spray it down. We have our little prism. I'm gonna make sure that. Okay. Yeah, the probe for this is like massive. I don't know why. <laughs> it's really annoying. So I have to like do really weird stuff to get it to just sit underneath the. Hub. She just went and picked it up without. No. Go ahead and spray. Yeah. The boy looks to be hiding under there like usual. Probably underneath the paper towels too. Excuse me. Nope. Trying to do this with one hand ain't easy. Well, it looks like she hasn't knocked anything over, surprisingly. She's just chilling in there. I'm not sure where exactly she's hiding, but that's okay. I'm not sure if she's in her cup or in the uh, lay box. I don't know if she's in the lay box. Yeah, I don't know. Oh no, I see her. She's down in there, hiding under the plants. Loose ball. <clears throat> okay, and then I got her. Box again. Yeah, she is. I see her. Okay. So should be it. Um. She was the last one I need to check on. She looks fine. But, yeah. So, I apparently forgot to record an outro yesterday. So, this is the outro. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave a like. Yeah, subscribe to our channel. Um, we are working on setting up a Patreon. And, um... 
part of that will include, you know, getting your name featured on the um, end of our videos. Try not to catch that reflection in my glasses. But, <clears throat> yep, yeah, once we get the Patreon already, we'll probably announce it here on the channel. Uh, pretty much is ready. I just gotta figure out how I'm going to, you know, announce it. Because we're still pretty small in terms of the social media front, so I'm not too, you know, confident on this. But we'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, bye.